Um, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a uh, basically what we left off is that we were not able to connect that bell to the left side. So here we did not have press that. Uh, left bell here, up left B, up left. Uh, where's the up left? We didn't have it. Okay. Um, up left should be here, somewhere here. Oh, here we go. So we created four new uh, belts. So right now, all the belt on the corners, special case would be named after what it does for example here right down belt okay it's gonna be right direction down okay right and down down and left going down and to the left left and up right before we before we name it top left top right bottom left bottom right well that's not correct um but basically yeah right now we we name it too up right right down down left and left up just to make sure that we can differentiate between the new one that we have here so this is new so going to the left direction so up and left um right and up down and right Okay, let's make it like that. Okay, so the reverse. So it's going up and then I'll be going the other direction. And left and down. Left it down. Right, so let's say in action. So here we have a, well, I guess a system. So it's going to go like this. Up, right, right, up, right, down, and then keep going, keep grouping. Let's try that. Right, so right, everything works nicely. Um, let's try this. Okay, move it. I guess here, and then just kind of close like that. Like that. And like that. Right, and then just copy and paste an item there. Now I'm gonna go you know, in the circle. Hopefully. There you go. Perfect. Again, if we try to join that so we also add we also test this case so here before if you try to join belt so here going down going up and to the center it wouldn't go to the left it would just go here and then maybe got stuck something like that right now it would go down to the center and then go to the left yeah just see that down to the center and to the left, right? The same here, up to the right, and then here is left and up. Left and up, okay. Left and down, right? Um, currently, there is a bug where if we have here and here basically the same speed, it would correct each other so it would get stuck in the center. Right, something like that. Um, we can fix that, but I am probably not gonna do that. Um, basically, what you have to do is before you go, before you change the direction, we need to get the, that belt and get all the neighbors belt. Make sure no objects are there. For example, here if we were, we were to merge into that way. We check the belt in the front, get the neighbor's belt, so right up, left and down. Make sure there are no uh, items going up, alright, are uh, going, going, to, going to be merged. If there is, just stop it right here, right? Or, depending on the priority, should it move here and then up, or should that be there and up? Yeah, based on your requirement, but basically we need to get that belt, check on the neighbors, if there is any 
up upcoming uh, items going to be correct each other, just wet. And then once that is gone, we just move normally, right? Just simple logic. Um, so yeah, everything here should be working fine. Right now, special case like that, it has to be um, looked into further. Anyway, let's get back to the code, how it works. So, for the new belts here, we basically copy and paste this code and reverse it. Right, so here, let's, let's take a look at this one. This belt is left and down. So let's look for that left down belt. Right here, again, here, the point, depending on where it is, right, the maximum x is right there, and then y is right there, so it will be top right. Moving there, we will check here if it in in the bounds there, it's gonna move, right, the logic cannot do that. Um, again, I explained this in the pre previous video, if you didn't understand, just go back and take a look. Uh, here, the same thing, just the egg. Also, we, oh yeah, um, before we were doing a subtraction, right, we can simply just check if the x position of that. So here, going to the, the left, right, if, it, if we are going to the left there, we are checking that. If that point is greater, uh, is less than the x position, so... But another point, the origins, uh, my bad. The origin point of that, the item, has to be less than point there, okay? So it's gonna go to the center right away and it's gonna go down. If not, it just keep going to the left, right? So if it's still higher, if it's still higher than this, it's gonna keep moving to the left. Once it's not true, it's gonna go down. Again, the same for this, so down right belt, down, where is it? Down right belt, the same uh, logic. Um, here, this would be the Y because we want to check if the item is within. So the Y point in there has to be less than the belt. The belt origins right there, and then right there has to be less than. If it's not less than, it's just keep moving down, right? Keep moving down, keep moving down, down. If it is, if it's uh, less than the y, okay, keep it all right, right? So this will be that logic. And then same here thing, so it's gonna go, keep going up, right? Maybe go up, left, down, there you go. Right, simple enough. Um, right, so a couple of things that we change. Instead of subtracting, we can just check if the value is less or greater than. For that for that logic and oh right the merging so here before it it wouldn't right it, it, the I don't go down there it wouldn't go to the left it would just maybe got stuck like here and then or something like that right now if you go back to the left let's do here let's do this belt right belt because it's going to the right direction right belt here we add two more logic so for a special case say if there's a belt coming on any items coming on to that one and the direction is going down like that we check if the direction is coming down or 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 the direction is coming up so let's just say here we start here and then it's going up like that all right we check it before we move it to anywhere so here, if the direction is coming up, so up and the y position is less than the uh, the belt. So here, remember the y is the center there. It's less than that. We keep moving up until the center point of that. So we keep moving to the center, and then this wouldn't be true, and then that would be it. So just keep to the right. All right, simple enough. And same here. Uh, same thing for here. Oh no, sending for here, right? Coming down. The, the item direction is coming down. 
right? And then the white portion is still uh, greater than that, right? Because it's up, right? Y is up. So be like that until there, and then it will just go to the right, right? Yeah, you can see it by using this. Yeah, place it right there. This wouldn't collide because here you go. Because it's not the same. If it's like that, it would just stop in the middle, right? Because it's colliding there you go. Like right there, it works perfectly fine. Um, yeah, for this case, the same. Let's take a look at that actually. It's a bit different, just instead of the uh, the y, we're doing the x. So, yeah, let's do down belt, down belt here again. The same concept if we are starting to uh, on the left, going to the right direction. Right, it's moving to the right. We check the x position of the item. It's, it's still less than that. It's still less than the center point. We just keep moving to the right until it's there, right there, and it's going down. Right, and then move right, and then down. Or here, left direction. Start here. Keep moving to the right, right there, and then again, direction is left, right? Bring your left, and then the item is. Greater than the uh, the center point, we keep moving to the left. And then once it reach that point, and then we just keep moving down. All right, simple enough. The same concept, just different axes. Um, so yeah, that's why that will be stuck, which we can fix that later on. But I'm not sure when. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, right. Obviously, we can we can change this or make it better by, I don't know, putting here, or maybe apply some uh, design pattern, oh, not there, here, and then you can just remove that line, my duplicate code, and it's unnecessary, yeah, right, thank I, I guess, thank you for watching, uh, if you uh, find the video helpful, please keep a like, and uh, subscribe if you want to see any more upcoming videos and in the in the future i am probably going to be working on uh connecting the uh, belt to a factory that or, or some kind of uh yeah i guess it would be called fact i don't know a, a function so we can push the item onto a some kind of box big box which would generate a new type of item so like a factory basically it's gonna be an input put into the machine and then the machine gonna return an output and we will see how it's like gonna be but if the plan has changed, that's how what I'm going to be doing. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. Um, see you again later. Bye.